Quencher Outdoors would not be possible without the support of these awesome companies. The Resource Center, Mossy Oak Properties, Ulrich Marine, Top Gun Shooting Sports, Jim Butler Chevrolet, Lily's Landing Resort and Marina, Forbush WRS, Spartan Camera, Helix Gunsmithing, Rustic Timbers Furniture, Extreme Outdoors, Botech Archery, Excalibur Crossbows, Torch Eyewear, Hotshot Manufacturing, Tops Camo, Vortex Optics, Magnus Broadheads, Garmin, and of course our friends at Squincher. Hi, this is Keith Reen, and thanks for joining us on Squincher Outdoors. On last week's show, I battled through a slow early season until I finally met up with this giant body 10 pointer. This week we tag along with Tony and our good buddy David Vessel who just happens to be our taxidermist. David is behind the camera and Tony is trying to find him a buck in this very cold and windy Kansas. Well, well it's November 10th and uh, Keith and I are both tagged out in Missouri so I grabbed David and Tracy and we headed over to Kansas. We got three days to get it done. It's November 10th, so the rut should be kicking. It's our first time here this year. Um, we're just gonna sit back and see what happens. It's real windy and warm today, but we got a cold front coming in tomorrow, but we're here, so we're gonna hunt. It looks good. Closed captioning is brought to you by Habitat Taxidermy. The official taxidermist for the Squincher Outdoors team. Call David Vessel at Habitat Taxidermy at 417-840-0058 and preserve your memory of a lifetime. All right, what a difference day two makes. Yesterday in Kansas, 73 degrees and extremely windy. Last night our front came through 43 degrees this morning, extremely windy. It rained all night. hardly any deer. Um, hopefully that wind's going to lay tonight. Tomorrow should be really good, but we're just going to stick it out and keep hunting. We only got three days to hunt, so there's nothing we can do but hunt. We'll see what happens. It's the rut. It's November. It's Kansas. Anything could happen, but I'm not super confident at the moment.
The Squitcher Outdoors team is always on the move, and we depend on Jim Butler Chevrolet in Fenton, Missouri to get us where we need to go. With the largest selection of Chevy trucks at unbeatable prices, it doesn't make sense to go anywhere else. Sales manager Alex Cox and our buddy Scott Johnson promise to put you in a vehicle at a price you're not going to believe. Jim Butler Chevrolet not only has unbeatable prices, but a service and finance department that will treat you like family. Call Scott Johnson right now and let Butler Chevrolet show you why we won't buy from anyone else. Hey John, I bought that ATV and I need a quote fast, but man, I gotta go. Here comes a buck. The Resource Center serving Branson in Springfield, Missouri specializes in home, auto, motorcycle, and recreational vehicle insurance. Hey Tony, here's the insurance for your four-wheeler and your ID car. Glad we get you back in the woods. Appreciate it, man. I can't believe you guys got it done so fast. I got plenty of time. I'm gonna go hit the trees right now. I'm gonna be right behind you. If you're hunting for top coverage at a great rate, call John Schaefer at the Resource Center and let him save you some big bucks. Rustic Timbers Furniture in Branson, Missouri offers only the finest quality of rustic furniture, unique decor, and one-of-a-kind taxidermy artwork. Whether you're looking for that perfect piece of furniture for your log cabin or ready to turn your present decor into a rustic dream, with hardwood beds, dressers, and nightstands, you can bring a touch of nature and wilderness to your home or office. And personalized pieces can add a touch of nature to any room. At Rustic Timbers Furniture, there's something for everybody. Well, we've already been in Kansas. This is day number three. It's November 11th. It's the first day where we've had actual weather where I would say it's conducive to hunting. And we've already seen four deer in the first hour. Um, David's been getting some reports of his buddy a little bit south of us, and he said the deer are running like crazy. So we're just kind of waiting our turn. This is my last chance to kill one in Kansas before we head back. So keep my fingers crossed. In the off season, Tony and Tracy put in a lot of work to make this stand a hot spot for whitetails. Food plots can be the key to pulling in deer when conditions start getting very challenging. Well guys, that was uh I don't even know if he's big or not. He's just a nice Kansas buck. It's my last day to hunt in Kansas, trying to get another deer down for Squincher Outdoors, and I think I drilled him, didn't I, David? Looked good to me. I thought I seen him crashing. I was trying to watch through the viewfinder. I'm not 100% sure, but 
Man, we've been hunting for three days hard. I've been kind of sick and uh, I've not been feeling the greatest, let's just say. So uh, that's our first buck that we've even seen in Kansas Fourth picking a bow up for him and I wasn't gonna let him walk. Now we'll head to Missouri and keep on rolling. When Tony's in a tree stand and I'm not with him, I know what an early phone call usually means. Tony shot the first buck that walked by. <laughs> we hadn't seen we ain't seen a buck in three days and we just had a nice eight pointer, three and a half year old, not a giant by any means, but I drilled him 20 yards and David got awesome footage and we heard him crash. He didn't go 20. So what are you doing? You sleeping still? You're not, you're, no, you're probably working on footage. Don't give me that. Sweet. All right, well, as soon as I get a picture of it, I'll be sending it your way. And we heard it crash, so I know it, it didn't get out of the food plot, I don't think. Yeah. And we're cold. We're, we're, we're cold, so I will touch base with you when we get everything going here. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll continue our hunt this weekend in Missouri. All right, sweet. I'll call you back later. Helix Gunsmithing is a full-service machine shop specializing in complete repair, restoration, and customization of all your firearms. Helix brings extensive experience in troubleshooting to your toughest firearm issue, returning your firearm to a fully safe and operational condition. You need custom parts? No problem, Helix has got you covered. Helix can even build your custom gun. From handguns to long-range precision rifles, it's truly your call what Helix can build for you. Helix prides in providing customer service with easy access to their gunsmiths. At Helix, you are their most valuable customer every time you visit. Top Gun Shooting Sports is one of the largest indoor shooting ranges in the Midwest. Designed and built using state-of-the-art range and ventilation equipment, you will not find a safer, cleaner, or friendlier gun range. Top Gun is a fun, relaxed, family-oriented facility looking to make every experience a great one. They even offer group and private lessons. Top Gun carries a wide variety of new and used firearms in every platform, with ammunition at a reasonable price, also available online. If it involves firearms and shooting, Top Gun has it all, including a wide range of memberships for individual and corporate. Call Top Gun Shooting Sports today for more information. Meh. All right, guys, we got the deer out of the woods. This was my last day to hunt in Kansas before me and Keith go to Missouri to hunt for rifle season, and then we're off to Utah. One of my duties here at this deer lease is, um, he doesn't charge me to hunt here, but they're getting a little bit older, and Jim said, will you guys please make sure you shoot a deer, and that way we can have deer meat for the winter time. So I went ahead and shot the um, deer that I saw this morning. Jim and his wife are gonna be super happy. They're gonna have meat in the freezer for the whole winter, and uh, 
nothing like shooting a deer with your bow and arrow. So we've had a good three days here in Kansas and uh, getting ready to head on home. Well, this is our third year hunting with Jim over here at his farm. And one of the things he asked me when we first came here, he said, you guys can hunt for free, but boy, if you get a chance to kill a deer and you'd leave it for me, I'd be tickled to death. Well, Jim, you don't have to ask me twice to shoot a deer for anybody. <laughs> I love shooting deer. I appreciate it so much. And uh, I don't get you guys some meat for the winter time. And Tracy's going to come back next week and see if he can kill another deer. And I'm going to head to Missouri. No one to Missouri. Yep, heading cool. to Missouri. Cool. That's a nice one. Well, thanks a lot, man. We appreciate it. It's like our vacation, and we look forward to coming out every year. So, not a problem. Perfect. Man, this late season temperatures are extreme. Hey, Tony, speaking of extreme, let's get out of here and go see our friends at Extreme Outdoors. Extreme Outdoors in Branson, Missouri is the largest tackle shop in the Tri-Lakes area. With an extraordinary inventory of fishing equipment and top professional knowledge, Extreme Outdoors will have you lipping that fish of a lifetime on your next trip. If hunting is your thing, Extreme Outdoors has you covered. Not only do they carry top-line bows and archery accessories, they also have the experience to get you and your gear ready for the field. While you're there, pick up your license and permits. Walk out of the best shop in the Tri-Lakes area knowing you're ready to tackle the Extreme Outdoors. Hi, I'm Jeff Forbush, and we are Forbush WRS. We are your one-stop shop for personalized custom gun modifications. Our company is one of the select certified Cerakote applicators in the Midwest with endless designs and colors available. The complete process is done in-house from start to finish with each detail getting precise attention. The same care applies for our custom engraving services. If you are not happy, we are not happy. We treat each project as our own and no idea is out of reach. Well, Tony and David finished up in Kansas, and it was now time to get in a quick one-day hunt back in Missouri. Tony was on a roll, so I just grabbed the camera and kept it rolling. Well, here we go. It's 2020, opening day of Missouri rifle season. Keith and I have been doing this together for about 40 years, and uh, we just saw a buck that we called Pretty Boy, and we've seen him almost every time we've sat down here in the bottom. He's got a pass, so he's a up-and-coming deer, and we don't want to mess with him, so we're going to let him walk. Pretty Boy.
After grabbing some lunch, we settled in on a spot in the other end of the field that we sat at all morning. Anyway, today was probably the shortest Missouri rifle season we've ever had. We had one day to hunt. Me and Keith are heading out to Utah, and uh, we're going to wrap it up here. We had lots of buck action, but I guess we'll either be bow hunting or muzzleloader hunting. Go we'll kill something. Yeah, this was, this was a, a good day. I mean, yeah. it was a good day to be out. It was raining this morning. We were in a blind. Got to spend some time on the ground, which we never do, so just kind of mixed it up a little bit and saw lots of bucks. And The day ended there with Pretty Boy. We got that. <laughs> We saw him this first, that, that was the first buck we saw and the last buck we saw today, how about that? And he's he's really bothering me, so we're gonna yeah. get out of here before a pretty boy does not get to keep on living. pretty good day and I'm pretty ready to get out of here. I am pretty past ready. I'm pretty tuckered. My butt hurts. I'm pretty hungry, I'm pretty tuckered, and my butt pretty well hurts. Yeah.